This is what you call a makeshift water bowl. Better be worth it. Six dollars for a bottle of water here. If you guys remember back a few videos, and we were here in Bondi Beach, and it was completely empty. There was no one here, and that was, I think, was it in summer? Yeah. That was in summer. So we're here now. It's April, second month of autumn. Look how many people are here. Hey, she's actually. She, she thinks. Frankie, she thinks she owns this world. Frankie, you're not the boss of Bondi, mate. <laughs> you're not the boss of Bondi. sunburn with this sun being my face I've been getting the same question sent to me on Instagram um, and it's how do I start a YouTube channel more specifically more of a fitness channel and how do I avoid being awkward in front of a camera firstly I think it's been it's pretty cool that I've only like I've only just started doing YouTube videos so I'm not any type of pro or anything like that I broke, broke it down into four different things number one will be start now and start with your phone you don't need a fancy camera or anything like that you can start recording with your phone because the phones these days they've got really really good quality as you guys will probably already know um, I started recording or started at the channel beforehand I was recording a lot with my phone um, I found that especially going out in public speaking in front of my phone um, for me it was a bit more acceptable instead of having some big camera out which was extremely daunting so that would probably be number one number two Frankie leave the other dogs alone number two would be start practicing so practice is always going to make perfect and you can start by like speaking to your phone um, could be in a, in a closed room by yourself or with around close friends and family but the more that you are speaking to your camera, the more confident you're gonna be when you're out in public. Number three will be confidence and be yourself. So it can be extremely easy to fall in the trap of trying to replicate someone that you look up to. Don't do that because as soon as you start being not yourself, you know, people are gonna see that. People are gonna see that you're not being your true yourself and you're probably gonna attract the wrong audience that you actually want to attract. So be yourself. Don't worry about what other people think of you, you know. If you are true to yourself, you're going to attract the right people that you really want to and that is far more satisfying than trying to be someone else that you're not and attract the wrong people. So definitely be yourself um, and confidence is going to be, is again going back into the other ones, is, is practice, makes, um, practice makes perfect. When you're recording, when you're speaking to a camera, people are going to look at you talking to cameras and <clears throat> They're going to see you regardless, but if you're going to be awkward, it's going to affect the video that you're actually wanting to create. So, and then it's going to be affect the viewers that you're speaking to. So, just be confident. Don't worry about everyone else. And kind of block everyone out. Just focus on you guys there behind the screen. Number four would be editing. When you first start recording videos, especially if you're going to be doing it with your phone, there's a free app, is iMovie, especially with iPhones. Um, you can edit through the phone and upload straight to YouTube there. I use Final Cut Pro. Um, and I think start mastering the basic stuff and then later on going into one of the applications like that. But that's probably it. Four things. Hope that helps. See you guys a bit later. Let's go make some burgers. <laughs> so things are going to start changing now on my YouTube channel. What you've seen so far since I first started, I was just doing weekly vlogs and uh, I kept mixing it up you know, with some lifestyle stuff, things about business, things about training and everything like that. But now it's time to be able to, for me, now dip my, my feet into the water. I'm ready to kind of go in a little bit deeper now and trying to give you more content, more value. So what I'm gonna to start doing now, I'm starting to up my game. I'm gonna go three, three videos a week. First video every week will be the Coach's Corner. So every single week, myself and the Score Club coaches will be answering your questions, uh, questions that you sent us through our Score Club Instagram page. And we're gonna be answering them, giving you a lot of education and a lot of value in them, those videos. The second video will be on every Wednesday night, and these will be my training videos. 
basically it's it's how I'm training, what I'm doing, how I'm progressing, giving you technique and little tips like that. So I think you're gonna get a lot of value out of that one. And then the third video every week will be basically what I'm doing now. So my lifestyle, um, what I'm doing every day, how I'm traveling with business, anything that's coming up, talking about SQ Athlete, Score Club, everything like that that's already been, you know, I've been doing for the last five months. So that's kind of how um, my YouTube channel now will start to go and that'll start from this week. So um, stay tuned because Monday night will be the very first video of the Coach's Corner. Uh, record it and there's some really, really good questions in there. So that's going to be that. Um, I'm going to finish off tonight with some making some burgers. We're going to be recreating the grilled burgers, the chicken bird and brie. Uh, I've got all the ingredients here, but uh, instead of like, kind of explaining how I'm going to do things, I'm always about the edits. So let's play the edit. Three, two, wrong way. Three, two, one.